Welcome to the Pastor's Corner. We're going to be talking about how we people respond to correction. And it's right here in Proverbs chapter 9. And it's in the middle of a contrast between uh, the wisdom banquet and the folly banquet. And, and, and right in the middle, there's three verses dealing with correction. How are we going to respond to a correction? Let's look at these these uh, ways or these comparisons of correction in Proverbs chapter 9, starting at verse 7. We'll be reading through verse 9. Whoever corrects a mocker invites insult. Whoever rebukes a wicked man incurs abuse. Do not rebuke a mocker or he will hate you. Rebuke a wise man and he will love you. Instruct a wise man and he will be wiser still. Teach a righteous man and he will add to his understanding. Now, it's interesting. Uh, it's talking about correction. Let's say uh, you're walking down the road and and um, you have some uh, trash that uh, you think is biodegradable. Let's say uh, an apple peel and, and, you, and, you th and you throw it out. And the person behind you says, hey, you, you just threw this apple. You should pick it up and throw it out in the trash can. And if you're a mocker, you'll say, what, what do you have to tell me what to do? You're not my boss. You're not my mom. Hey, it's biodegradable. I'm just throwing it out here. And, and, and you're being a jerk. And I'm just doing what I just stay out of my life. Now, whoever re rebukes a, a wicked man will incur uh, uh, abuse. It says, hey, you walk down and, and, if, and a wicked man throws out his apple core and somebody says, hey, you should pick that up. The wicked man would shove the other person and says, you have no business getting my life. You're a jerk. And, and he will uh, abuse you by his words and by his, his action. And he will probably uh, do other things that are not appropriate. Now... The scripture says, don't rebuke a mocker or he'll hate you. That mocker, that as you have told him, hey, don't throw out that apple peel, will begin to hate you and say, he just thinks he's better than everybody. He's, he, he, he's a, a do-gooder and, and, and he'll begin to hate you for, for correcting him. Now, a wise man would say, ooh, yeah, I was just being lazy. I didn't, you know, it's just an apple core. And yes, it might be biodegradable, but it still looks bad. I still don't, you know, if you're walking down the street, I don't own that piece of property that I threw the apple core out on. Uh, that That's not, that's not polite for others who come after you. And a, a wise man would say, yeah, I, maybe I was being lazy at that moment. And he will thank you. You know what? I shouldn't treat God's earth that way. I shouldn't be uh, just being throwing out things. If you instruct a wiser man, he'll be wiser still. He'll say, hey, you know what? Maybe I should ha have a little baggie uh, when I grab an apple, uh, maybe a sandwich bag, so when I eat it, I can put it in my pocket until I can find a trash uh, a, a trash pin to throw it out in. You know, you're, it, it's true that uh, apple apple things are biodegradable and it will, but you know what? If it's on a sidewalk, people have to look at it. It doesn't look good. It's and a wise man will say, you know what, thank you. You know, I, I thought this way was okay, but you know what, it's still not kind to the people who own the sidewalk who have to come after me. And a righteous man will add to his, his learning. I am very appreciative of those who come and, and, and talk to us. The Bible says uh, if you see something, uh, and you should go one-on-one -on -one with somebody. And I appreciate uh, those who have come into my life and, and have talked to me one-on-one -on -one and said, Hey, I saw this. And, and, and they, they, I became wiser. I wouldn't be a, a, a wise person rather than the mocker. And oftentimes we get confused. When somebody is criticizing us, we get defensive, we get angry, we get mad. And the scripture says, uh, that is a mocker. That is a, a wicked person. A wise person will say thank you. I, I will take that into account. Thank you for sharing with me what you saw. And, and I, can, I can make better decisions. And you know what? I am very thankful for the elders of our church who have who've taken the time to invest in me. And, and we invest in each other. So may you today... Uh, when, when you are criticized or when somebody speaks to you, may you respond not as a mocker or as a wicked person, 
May you respond as a wise man and a righteous man or woman. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, I thank you for your word. I thank you for this section in the middle of chapter 9 that says, Hey, be careful how you respond to correction. Because it really does define us. When we get defensive and angry, uh, the scripture says, Hey, we're a mocker. We, we respond to uh, criticism with insults and abuse. And on, on the flip side, Father, we do want to be a wise person when somebody corrects us to love them and to thank them. Uh, we want to add to our wisdom. We want to add to our understanding. And so, Father, today, as we live our lives, may we be wise and may we be righteous. May you fill us with your spirit today to respond in such a way that we will grow in Christ. Amen. You have a good day and God bless.